Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship preview video, and this is my new version of the SS, or the RMS, Empress of Ireland. Now it's a, it's a project that I sort of built in conjunction with the SS Canberra, uh, the camera I finished uh, about oh, well, last week, I think it was. Uh, no, Monday, wasn't it? Monday, yep. So I've just finished the camera and I thought I'd just dig out this thing as I'd finished this thing about a week earlier and uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, just show it off. It's a complete rebuild or complete redesign of my original Empress of Ireland, which I built in uh, I think it was 2014, maybe 2015, I can't remember, but that version was just a. Um, basically a brick with a pointed one in so that uh, was kind of dismissed so it's been requested that I redo the Empress of Ireland so I thought I'd better do it and this is what I come up with and you know I just finished it last week and so I thought I'd better get on and uh, do a preview of it so um, if I do a tutorial of this thing I'll probably start uh, the first Monday after this video so probably 5th of November if I do do it and uh, yeah something to uh, pass the time up till uh, end of the year basically uh, there are other ships in the build zone which are over there in the distance but I'm not going to get into that so um, but uh, I have made note of the requests that have been made because I did release a well not a poll but a suggestion that people post the ships they want me to build so I've taken those con all into consideration and I'm just sifting through what is and what is not possible so don't, f don't uh, think you're all forgotten but uh, yeah, this was one that was requested a few months back and I thought I'd get on and do so. I've used proper deck plans this time to build it, so it's all in proportion with the with my other ships. So it's, it's still to the same scale as, uh, say, Titanic, Britannic and things like that. So it's still 70% bigger than 1 to 1 scale, but all my ships this year I've built are 1 to or are 70% bigger than 1 to 1 scale. So it's just, you know, just it just scales up a little bit. It's not 1 to 1 scale, it's not 2 to 1 scale, it's just roughly in between. So it's all to do with uh, making things a bit bigger, but a bit more detailed. So at least this time you can see we've got a decent, or well, a relatively decent hull shape. So <laughs> that's what the main goal for this was, because the old one I did, you know, the old one was just a pile of poo. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, better get on and do a new one. So I have a quick look over the top. Some of the details on the top are a bit sketchy because of lack of photographs, but most of the stuff is sort of referenced from. Uh, sort of books and models really. The models I've seen online are not that great so most of it's just sort of reference from books. Uh, books that are sort of sketchy photographs in anyway so yeah, it's it's all a bit uh, make do with what you got sort of thing but uh, you know at least, at least uh, it's an improvement over the last one and uh, yeah it was requested by, by a few people and it wasn't added to a poll or anything it's just some people put suggestions in some of my videos and this is what I've uh, come up with and uh, so a quick look along the side I'm not sure what it is in size comparison to the old one I don't have the old one to show or the, the, the old one to a hand at the moment it's on another map somewhere so I'm not able to compare the two sizes but this one as I say is all in proportion and uh, does look a lot better you know it's it looks like a boat anyway the old one didn't really so it's my opinion anyway, you know, not, not, a lot of other people have different opinions about what I do, but you know, who cares. So, as you can see, it sort of sits in the shadow of the Britannic over there. The Britannic, even though it's in the distance, is still clearly a much bigger ship, so you can sort of get a sort of size comparison there. I don't know exactly how long the ship is, I think what I'll do, I'll do a quick uh, measure of the length. So the length from uh, black part. So the block is one. The ship is one block longer than what I'm going to measure. So if I go from black tip to black tip at the back, and we'll get an idea on the length. So I'll just fly down to there. Do 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 do. Right down to the back, and the length is 580. That's not right, is it? 580. Oh, 290. There we go. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, I've measured it slightly wrong there. So yeah, it's 290 blocks long. That's that's uh, how long it is. So the type the or well, the Olympic class ships I've got are 400 456 blocks long. This one is 200 and I can't remember now how long is it. 290 blocks long. So it's not quite halfway, but uh, or not quite half the length. But uh, you get sort of, sort of get the idea. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, the ship is uh, 200. What was it? 290 blocks long. Yeah, and the width, I just measure the width actually. So I'll go from uh, from this section here. So I'll go from that block to the other side. So the width will be 
33, so it's quite a, a small ship in uh, comparison. So, two eight, uh, what was it? 290 long, 33 wide. That's the hull width, anyway. So, the, the width of the upper decks are slightly lighter, slightly wider, but that's not a big deal. So, you've got the proportions just about right. The draft of the ship is 10, so the keel will be on the ninth block of the water. So, just to give you a sort of proportion of how this thing's going to be. So, a tutorial has not been requested, well, it has been requested, but it's not been set into a poll, so. You know, it's it's not something I have to do, but I've, I thought I'd better do it. So, a tutorial for this thing will follow probably November fifth, which is Monday coming up. So, Guy Fawkes night basically. So, while I'm building this, you'll probably be hearing loads of fireworks going off in the background. And at the moment, there are trick or treaters outside, which are kind of also annoying as well. But you know, that's the way things go. Uh, so yeah, it's enough about ranting about all things bad in the world. But yeah. There's no, I'm not going to mention any more about uh, quitting for now. I'm still going to carry on for a little bit, but I'm going to say if things don't pick up, I will be gone, but we'll, we'll see. Um, anyway, quick one more look around the ship, give you an idea of what uh, things are, get rid of the HUD. And uh, it's marvelling its lack of splendour. And uh, they, don't, they don't look too bad. At least of all, it's, it's an improvement over the last one, so it's bound to be. Uh, some people who want that want this build so I shall fly back up to the front and then we'll call it a day there and like I say most things are in proportion <laughs> anyway that is it for the Empress of Ireland and we shall call it a day there so this is Rich signing off logging off disappearing and I shall return with the tutorial hopefully uh, very soon so um, bye for now